Oh, well, hi, Doctor. I'm Vicky. I'm here at 11 o'clock. Oh, thank you for taking me this late. If you were kidding, you said these sessions were cheap. God, work sucked tonight. He barely made any tips. What do you do, Vicky? The barmaid. I see. And you want my help. You want me to hypnotize you. I have got to quit smoking. If any smoking man, I'll lose my job if I don't. Can you help me with that, Doctor? I can help you overcome your problem, Miss Vicky. All you have to do is trust me. Are you willing to trust me? Will you do exactly as I tell you to do? Anything, Dr. Vonderland, anything that will help me. Good. Very good. So, Vicky, you're a slave to a filthy habit, a strong urge that you would do anything to quench. Yes, Doctor. My cra craving is so maddening. I'm not sure if you understand what I'm going through. Even the smell of it, I practically become lustful in my desire to have it. I do understand your passion, Vicky. I too know what it is like to catch the scent of that which I desire and to pursue it vigorously until I am satisfied. I've tried everything. I even tried shock therapy. It didn't work, but that's pretty cool. I hope you can help me. And I will. You are the perfect subject to be hypnotized. Not everyone can. Some people are so wrapped up in their everyday concerns that they simply cannot concentrate. You must relax. You must put your body at ease. Can you do that, Miss Vicky? Yes, Roger. Excellent. Open your subconscious mind, Miss Vicky. Open up to me. My voice will allow you to relax deeply, and you'll do it exactly as I say, since what I tell you is in your best interest. You have come to me because you wish to break free of a dangerous addiction. I will guide you to where you will be safe. But before that can happen, first you must experience feelings of anguish and horror. You must walk in step with the skeletons of death.
together. You came to me because you wanted to stop smoking. You have made a wise decision. I have succeeded to help you destroy your nagging habit. Thank you, Dr. Bondulin. I no longer feel like a slave to me. 